I have not followed the debate uh, too closely regarding the, the SEFA, but what I can say is that um, it is an issue still on the agenda in West Africa. Um, the mechanisms and the, in fact, even the institutions have been created to facilitate that. Uh, both the uh, West Africa uh, Monetary Zone uh, Secretariat, what's called the WAMS, uh, uh, Secretary, but also the WAMA, West Africa Monetary Association, you know, which is uh, an association of both the uh, UMO Central Bank member countries and central banks of uh, the non UMO countries. And uh, these are organizations which do the technical work regarding uh, preparations. Uh, for achieving uh, criteria, uh, convergence criteria, monitoring, monitoring performance of member states uh, and uh, pointing out where the, 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 the slack is coming from. Uh, and uh, I think it is a challenge for member states uh, to, to work to achieve these convergence criteria. I think at the same time also, we need to put a lot of emphasis on trade liberalization within West Africa. Some skeptics have said, for instance, well, if you're not even trading among yourselves and the intra-West Africa trade is only 10%, maybe 15% on the upper side, then why do you even need a common currency? I mean, uh, money, and the currency is to facilitate transactions, trade in particular, you know, buying and selling and uh, exchanging goods and services with a medium of, of money. So uh, at the same time that we work to achieve this convergence criteria which will lead to a currency, perhaps a, a bigger challenge remains just creating those conditions which will scale up trading among ourselves. There's a huge uh, potential. I mean, imagine right now, uh, optimistic estimates will say it's about 15%. So imagine if we just double that. If we just double the volume of trade amongst us in West Africa. Not to talk of if we tripled it. That would mean that more goods and services are being produced, but importantly, it means more jobs for people, employed. And then also it means, of course, that we would have made investments for the infrastructure which will facilitate the movement of these goods and services across the region. Uh, so I think that the debate on the common currency is important. We should continue to pursue it. But it should be pursued alongside really scaling up the volume of trade between and among West African countries. Uh, regarding the Kagame report, I, I mean, for us in West Africa, it is advocating some things that we're very familiar with. The community level account has been a mode by which we have funded successfully our two principal organizations, UMO and the CDL ECOWAS. And it has uh, helped to ensure that at least we have the resources to do some of the basic things that need to be done to ensure uh, a, a progress in our integration agenda in West Africa. So it's, it's, it's something highly recommended. It will improve the financing of the African Union. Although um, in my view, it wasn't terribly ambitious. We talk of uh, providing funding for, what, 20% uh, mm -hmm. of our, <laughs> which means 80% will still depend on, but let's start somewhere. Uh, another issue that I would like to comment on, on the relation between the AU and the RECS. Mm -hmm. This has always been, frankly, problematic. 
We all acknowledge the principle of subsidiarity and complementarity, division of labor, but in practice, there is too much overlap. And in my humble view, probably too much an overreach by the African Union. Uh, there should be a, a good coordination and one of the recommendations which I would strongly endorse is the one which says we'll have two summits a year, yes. One summit for all uh, uh, member states, but the second summit should be of the AU Commission and the Rex and the chair of the Rex and the chair of AU. So this will uh, lead to uh, a, a more uh, focused discussion of what are the RECs doing and how can the AU be of added value, you know, so that there's greater synergy and just to really, uh, if not eliminate, but reduce to a minimum the duplication. Uh, let's strengthen the RECs. Uh, to be able to take up the integration agenda and uh, peace and security issue. And there are cases, there will be cases, where perhaps a more continental approach is called for. If you have major crisis, which the region, uh, let me just say, go beyond mm -hmm. the effort of the region, naturally, uh, you need to bring in the continental organization to provide the, you know, and complement the leadership that is required to deal with. And we have on the continent certain major crises. We have DR Congo, the perennial crisis there, Somalia, uh, Central Africa, uh, so perhaps now Mali. Okay. Those major crises, why doesn't the AU focus on them? Other, you know, crises that arise in regions, then the RECs take the leadership in handling them. And similarly, major infrastructural projects obviously should be regionally focused. And then, of course, the idea is to achieve a continental interconnection of all these regional uh, projects. But uh, this is the case where, yes, let's think continental, but let us act regionally.